What's up bowlers? My name is Ryan Balaklak. I'm an advisory staff member with California Bowling. Tomorrow I'm headed to Las Vegas to go bowl in nationals for the first time this week. I just wanted to share with you all what I'm bringing with me. The first ball we're going to talk about today is my Swag Buffalo. This is my urethane piece but also doubles as my spare ball. Uh, depending on how the lanes play, how long the patterns are, from what I'm hearing, the team pattern might be the shorter pattern this year. The single doubles might be the longer one. We'll see. Um, but this one might get a lot of use, especially on that shorter pattern. Depends on who I'm bowling with and all that. If I'm bowling with another lefty that's throwing urethane, I'm definitely going to be throwing urethane with them. Uh, I don't want to battle against my own teammates, but we'll see how it goes. Either way, it's going to get a lot of use as both the urethane and my spare ball. The next ball we're going to talk about is the Graffiti Artist. Uh, this ball just came out this past February. Very strong ball for me. Um, when it comes out of box, it's at 2,500 grit. I've actually taken mine down to 1,000. For me, this is the ball that's at the very top of my bag. Very strong, very rolly. Reads mid lanes really well. Doesn't overreact in the back end. Something that I want um, when I have like longer patterns or um, heavier oil patterns. So the Graffiti Artist uh, might be the first ball of the bag on the longer pattern, uh, but we'll see. The next ball we're going to talk about today, we've got the Buzzer Beater Solid. Uh, this is a ball that fits in in the middle of my bag, my control piece, not necessarily my benchmark, but more of a control piece. It is an asymmetric solid, uh, has a low int diff, low differential, so it's some ball that's not going to flare a ton. doesn't give you a ton of back end movement in there, uh, something that I'm going to use to control the pockets, especially when I heard that the back ends are really flying in Vegas, so this one might get a lot of use. Next up, we have the Dynamite Blaze. So I just mentioned Benchmark Ball. This ball is my Benchmark Ball. Uh, I just got it about a week and a half ago, drilled it up, thrown it two times, threw it in league, and threw it at a sports shop practice. Really good ball. Um, strong, continuous back end reaction. Not too early. Something that's really going to give me a good idea of what's going on in the lanes. Uh, comes out of the box at 3,000 grit. I'm going to keep it there. Uh, the next ball we're going to talk about today, we have Mad Joker. Uh, this one just came out probably a couple weeks ago, depending on when you watch this. March of 2024. Very similar ball to the Dynamite Blaze for me. Uh, Core-wise, they're both symmetrics with very similar numbers. I believe the RG is a difference of 0.01, and the uh, diff is also a difference of 0.01. So similar core strength, and the covers, um, they are the same base cover. So Mad Joker is UP1 hybrid. Uh, the Dynamite Blaze is a UP1 solid, so give me a very, very similar look, uh, except the Dynamite Blaze is going to be a little bit earlier. So once I need to get out of the Blaze, I can go straight into the Joker, throw the same exact line, see the same kind of reaction, just a little bit further down the lane. So this is a good transition ball for me. Last ball we're going to talk about today, we have another similar ball. We've got the Dynamite Max. Uh, so just by the name, you can tell the Dynamite Max is the same core as a Dynamite Blaze, which means it's also similar to the Mad Joker, except the difference here is we have a RVR3 Pearl cover sock instead of UP1. Uh, and also this one's finished at 2000 with polish. So this one's gonna be a ball that's later transition for me, something that is gonna go much further, give me a little bit more angle to the pocket, um, help me get through the heads when they're dried up. So yeah, Dynamite Max. Thanks for watching everybody. Those are the six bowling balls I'm bringing with me to Nationals this year. Uh, my first time ever again, like I said. If you're interested in following along with how I do, I do plan on putting out a vlog this week, um, chronicling everything that happened this week. I am bowling teams, singles and doubles, and then also the Bowlers Journal. So very excited to go out there, very excited to compete and see how I do. Um, but please like the video, subscribe. Um, we'll have more videos coming out soon with everything that's going on this week. And uh, appreciate y'all watching.